Hello everyone, welcome to Skill Belt Tutorials. This is Arun here with Liferay 6.2 Development Tutorials Continuation. And in the last session, we have uh, stopped um, when I was waiting for my um, Liferay Tomcat to start up and showing the initial screen, the initial uh, setup screen. Now I am ready with the setup screen. Now what I'm going to do is um, currently uh, the default configuration of the database uh, it it will be uh, choosing as the HSQL DB but now we can change the database to the newly created life rate tute database which is residing in our localhost MySQL so for that reason what we need to do is we first need to click on the change you see here and go to uh, the drop down uh, select my SQL and you will see this um, uh, URL here it is um, something lengthy and um, you can read it through but the simple thing is 3306 is the port number you have given and the database uh, name this is the database name you use life retute you double click on this and copy the database name and you will see one uh, LR portal here. So that L, L portal uh, that is that database you will be uh, replacing and you uh, created a, um, a new user uh, for this and you're going to use the same user here. Okay. Um, uh, created the user and I'm leaving the uh, uh, default configurations of uh, test configurations uh, here but uh, only thing I'm going to rename my um, uh, site name that is the portal name as uh, skill bell tutorials okay okay fine skill bell tutorials okay and i'm going to select this as by default english uh, that's fair enough and test at liferay.com and first name last name everything is same and uh, then i don't want to add any sample data uh, just click on finish uh, we need to um, wait for some time uh, this setup is getting finished so what I suggest is in that time, um, why don't we configure our um, uh, Eclipse ID with um, Liferay SDK and the newly set up Liferay server. So what we are going to do uh, here is um, before we um, start um, using um, Liferay portal for development, we need to open up the Liferay ID and set up our uh, preferences uh, for Liferay SDK and um, Liferay uh, server. So um, when you click uh, go to window uh, and preferences you will see all these uh, options here and click on Liferay there and what you can do here is configure installed Liferay plugin SDKs. So uh, I have already shown you I have copied my um, Liferay plugins SDK into my uh, um, e folder e directory and LR 6.2 Liferay portal uh, Liferay plugins SDK 6.2 is my directory With, that is what I'm going to configure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the location by clicking add and browse then go to my PC and go to um, Neonix E and uh, um, I have the LR 6.2 here and I'm going to select the plugins SDK okay now I'm just wanted to open this in Eclipse and because only because I want to manage uh, this plugins SDK in Eclipse itself so I'll get this open in Eclipse click on OK I need to wait uh, it takes some time to load into the Eclipse so let me see what happens with my database population so what you can do is uh, till now the database was uh, actually um, no uh, tables created right now if you open up this you see there is some tables getting populated if you uh, if you could uh, uh, refresh this uh, again and again the number of tables and data in that tables will be uh, getting more and more so we go back to the 
um, uh, uh, preference settings. Uh, so we um, we have seen uh, the preferences of Liferay plugins as DK has set up here. So uh, click on OK and you can see the in the left hand side you can see the Liferay plugins SDK uh, got uh, added and you can see all these um, folders like ext hooks and layout templates and your portlets themes uh, then webs so all these um, uh, folders is actually um, uh, created for uh, um, creating new plugins whenever you create a new hook that hook is going to be stored inside the hooks folder and whenever you create a new plugin portlet that portlet is going to be stored in the portlets and whenever you create a new theme it is going to be stored in the um, uh, themes um, folder it's under the directory themes so now um, uh, let's set up uh, the um, running Liferay server as well so what you need to do is you need to click here again Liferay and you can create a new Liferay runtime environment so click on new Liferay runtime environment our uh, our Liferay runtime environment is Liferay 6.2 CE Tomcat 7 and you click on next what you will do here is you, you need to browse to the um, uh, server where you are, um, are currently running your uh, life ray portal so it's it's only for the uh, development so you need to browse that that is also um, in the and the same uh, folder we have like lr 6.2 so you need to go to the LR 6.2 and uh, need to choose the life reportal. So that is, that, that is your life reportal and you, you will uh, choose the default um, JRE and then finish. So now you got a server as well. So for seeing that server, what you need to do is uh, you need to um, give the show view and uh, I think you need to open up the server part here okay and click on server yeah it shows here okay but i think somehow our um server is actually not um shown here so we may need to add that uh, explicitly over here life 6.2 and next and finish that's it so now we got our life portal also added uh, to our uh, eclipse so uh, this this may take some uh, uh, long time uh, as it is showing life is being uh, uh, installed this may take few minutes and I'm going to pause this video uh, here and please don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and uh, get the latest update at the earliest so once this uh, installation is completed I'm going to come back with the um, a life ray plugin continuation that is the de development continuation we will start with the uh, portal development first so bye for now um, uh, please don't forget to subscribe once again i'm reminding you please don't forget to subscribe this uh, skill bell channel